Right, hey, okay, people. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server. I'm going to make this quick and easy for you. Um, first thing you want to do is go to your Safari web browser. Actually, I've got one open up here somewhere. Um, friends, what you want to do is open this up. You want to go to your Minecraft.net uh, and you want to go along to when you actually access the page. If I can get to the home page, two seconds. Uh, you want to just go multiplayer down in the bottom corner there click on that and you want to download the server software now once you've downloaded that just put it the file on your desktop it's uh, minecraft slash server then you want to go to this other website um, now this is a bit of software called port map I'm gonna have the link in the description all you do is go down and you click on download the application again just put it to your desktop if you wanted to get the software installed do as you wish with it so I'm going to close the web browser now because I don't need that anymore. Now, the Minecraft file that you get from Minecraft's website, you want to go into the folder and there's a Minecraft slash server dot jar. Just take that out of there and you can close that and you can delete the old file. Don't need that anymore. Um, now, I've already pre-made a folder called Minecraft underscore server. You want to just drag and drop that into that folder so then that should now all be in there for you the next thing you want to do is go to text edit so I'm just going to open this up get text edit and you want to go first of all format make plain text and then there's going to be a little code in the description that I have saved for you just copy it so copy that paste it in there and you want to go file save as now you want to name this as start dot command and I'm just going to save that to my desktop so there we go, we've got a file now, we can now close that bung that in your minecraft server folder now what you want to do is you want to start terminal now start terminal again I'm going to have a bit of code in your in the description just copy and paste this now it's c h m o d space a plus x space so you want to copy that paste it in there go into the server folder and grab that start dot command and drag it in there hit enter now that should have made the file for you you can close that now and before you want to go ahead and open anything else you want to open your port map now if you've clicked on it it should say ask for permission from the internet so on open that up and uh, make sure it's running I already have it on my computer so I'm not going to open it again but it'll open up this little box in the corner now there's a reason why I've added my uh, iTunes to sit on top of it because it shows an IP address for what your friends and family can join into if they want to play the game so what you want to do when that's open press the plus button and on the local port you want to put 25565 and again for the desired public and you can put a description of minecraft in there if you wanted to um, it's entirely up to you I'm not, and then go add mapping I'm not going to go any further with that because I've already got one when it's up and running it will show a little green button there for you so um, that means that it's up and running and then what you can do I've already got one set up so I'm not going to use this one at the moment but uh, once it's set up I'll show you what I've got I keep mine all stored away now don't worry about the rest of these files you won't get these until you start up the server you want to double click your start dot command so I'm going to double click that it will open your terminal don't worry about it and then it's going to open this little window it'll take a minute or so and it'll boot up and then that's your actual server running when it's fully up and running that's when it adds all these other files now don't worry about them just leave them alone just leave them as they are what you then want to do is you go to your minecraft and once it uploads yeah okay we get in there you go multiplayer and then the code that's on your port mapping that's hidden under my itunes punch that in there and then hit connect that will log you into your server and then send that to your friends or whoever want you to play with and then certainly they can punch it in they will join into your server it will show everything in your minecraft server now a little tip for you if you want to keep your server running and uh, for people to join at any point you have to leave these three windows open so you have to leave your terminal open you have to leave minecraft server open and you have to leave the port map open as well so you can't close those so that those three should be constantly 
constantly open if you want to keep your server running. If you close either things like terminal, it will stop the server from running. So you keep them open and whenever you want to go online, that's it. It's that simple. If you haven't any problems, certainly give me a shout. Um I saw this video, sorry, um this uh, tutorial off of uh, Minecraft Wiki. Um, I just ran through the options, and so far it's worked for me. But certainly, try and give me a shout if there's any problems, and I hope this helps you as much as possible.